Mind is a website resource for exploring neurodiversity and mental health issues in children's literature. And I have a, a writer friend, she, Miriam Saunders. She's also a licensed therapist and uh, somewhat of an ADD, ADHD expert as she is a neurodivergent herself and ADHD is what she helps a lot of families and kids with. So knowing that these neurodiversity was both of our, our real, something we felt so passionately about, we would have these conversations about books that we would see and this is going back again, you know, a number of years. I think the situation is different now where there's so many great books. But a number of years ago, there weren't as many options. And a lot of the books were much more othering in talking about kids that were on the spectrum. Or the books were more like from the point of view of, you know, of family members basically saying, here is my brother over here. He's really different and slightly strange. And these are the reasons why. Or... Or the main character would be the sibling. It was like, despite the humiliating and mortifying, you know, aspects of my life in high school or junior high, having to deal with my brother over here, and it was usually a brother, not a sister, you know, I learned how to grow as a person thanks to him at the end, you know, and it, it never really centered the person with the disability in a way that was respectful to the child or, you know, or really just showing an, a natural experience, uh, you know? So it really just got our goat. We just really didn't like that. And we wanted to find a way to lift up some of these new wonderful books that did a much better job of that, of just being natural stories of kids going through their lives and their struggles. And yes, they would happen to be neurodivergent or have these extra struggles, but that wasn't the whole point of the story to pathologize. The point of the story was to let all kids just sort of slip inside the skin of, um, you know, somebody whose brain works a little bit differently and see what that was like and go through those adventures with them and um, or recognize themselves, you know, to be able to have those windows. So, yeah, so that's why A Novel Mind started. And we started with a database. We have over a thousand books so that you can search, you know, say you want a book about some, a mental health issue or say eating disorders for a high school student. You can you can enter those parameters and find a list of books. Or if you want a picture book that deals with ADHD, you'll get, you can, you know, hunt that out. So it's a starting place for librarians and teachers and parents to find a list of books that might work for their child. And we also have a weekly guest blog um, where all kinds of writers and authors are, uh, write weekly about issues of mental health and neurodiversity. So.